YouTube, your boy Caleb Paris is back in the building. Here to react, here to react. I can't speak right now. I'm freaking starving. But here to react to the Timberwolves versus Grizzly game. I'm really here to react. Anthony Edwards, to be honest. Um, we are witnessing greatness. Um, this guy has been going crazy over the last couple games. Um, and people are starting to compare him to MJ and how they play alike, how they look alike. Um, I just don't like comparing people. Uh, he's his own player. I mean, his his greatness is coming into this generation. And uh, with LeBron, Seth Curry, all them great guys leave. They're gonna leave the they're gonna leave the league in his hands. And or Jason Tatum or Halliburton or all these top guys, John Morant. I mean, it's just the future is coming for this guy. And uh, yeah, so let's check out these highlights. I really wish they had like game highlights for Anthony Edwards, but they don't have that. So I'm just gonna have to react to this. And uh, yeah. Crazy how it's crazy how they have these freaking Memphis Grizzlies on national. T but I say it's funny how they have these Memphis Grizzlies on national television without John Morant. That's crazy. That's why they need to keep John Morant healthy. My gosh, bro! Like, dude. I want to see how he got injured, but Grizzly are still a great team. They just, they just, I don't know. Don't know. But Timberwolves, they're uh, the number one team in the uh, West, I believe. They're doing pretty good. But uh, here's Ant-Man, Carthy Towns. Good pass. Carthy Towns has been a great guy on this team. Jerry Jackson? When, when does big man start freaking driven like that? Next thing you know, big man, we start freaking taking the ball to the court all the time. Jerry Jackson. I do like one thing, how they, you know, introducing more big men, uh, like seven foot and all that stuff. Even though Wimby and Shed are a little bit skinnier, they're still big men and they're tall and not small. Hey, yo, bad defense. 24 to 12? Bro, what the heck? Timberwolves? What, what's going on? There's that guy that tried to fight Clay Thompson <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Grabbing his jersey. But, um, yeah, this game was on TNT. I was surprised. I was like, yo, what? Um, it is what it is, though. I mean, I, you know, I would expect the Warriors, Lakers, OKC, you know, Clippers, Nuggets, and all that stuff. But only really games I watched on TNT is, uh, War Warriors, Lakers, um, Clippers, that Clippers and OKC game, I, I loved watching that game. That game was so good. Um, this game was the type of a eh, if iffy. They try, trying to see if who's going to tap into it. Jelly fam, that's the dude that uh, created Jelly. Not him exactly, but he was a you know a part of the group. Grobert, I said he about to shoot again. Dude, this dude is a whole big man. The footwork is crazy. Oh, of course, that rich guy. Bro, you got to dribble, buddy. Bruh. Anderson. No one, no one's hoping on defense, though. No one's got back. Like, dang. Myth, not Memphis. Uh, Minnesota is a very um, energetic crowd. Good arena that supports their players. No cap. But Memphis Grizzlies, um, that dude is the youngest guy. Jeez. Jeez. He was the youngest guy in the NBA, and he had a great game against the um, Warriors, and people started to notice him, but I don't know how he did this game. Oh, Dama. It's just sad not watching John Brown on the floor. Like, this guy is one of my favorite players, and he got hurt again. Like, golly, bro. It's like you... It's like seeing LeBron James out that, uh, what's called, um, 2018 season when he freaking... Crack these balls. Just spit them up here. <laughs> Riga burp. Hey, yo, Mike Conley. I forget, but he's on the Minnesota Timberwolves. This guy is a very underdog. He shoots at a right hand. He's a lefty, but he's a, um, he went. Okay, James Jackson. He said, man, let me, let me give you some of this. 
Bro, where's the def- Hey, that could've been a tick. Um, <laughs> now that's something you can get a tick on. If you're not, like, swinging back and forth and you just hang on the rim, that's a tick. But if you're, like, swinging, you don't want to break your back. So, I mean, I understand that. Mike Conley. Let me ask y'all this. Should they change the TNT and ESPN thing, how it used to be, how it used to be, you know, a little bit more, uh, TNT to me is fine. It's the ESPN, uh, what's called, uh, score thing. I know I'm covering it right now, but it's right here. It's, it, it, the ESPN is usually right here, and it's like just, 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 like, bro, it's so bland. It used to be so colorful when they have freaking little graphic designs on there, but now it's just like, like, they act like we're like in the 1970s, like, bro. Jerry Jackson, his shot is so weird, but he goes in. Don't understand. He shoots, but he don't miss. Jerry Jackson is very underrated. This man dribbling the ball like he's a point guard. Mike Conley, you gotta stay on your feet, buddy. Anthony Edwards, good pass. He even though he not made that. Rudy Gobert made that lucky shot. Yeah. Anthony Edwards, tough man. That dude is tough, man. He's a uh, He's a different breed, man. He controls the way he plays. He doesn't do, you know, doesn't overdo it. Uh, attacks when he knows when to, and uh, shoots when he knows when to. He doesn't force anything. And he can play defense. That's why I like him. He can play defense and he can play offense. If he can play offense, like James Harden, he don't play defense. That's why I really don't like James Harden, but I respect him. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, Anthony Edwards, bro. The hops are crazy, bro. He has insane bounce for no reason. Like, he gets up there and dunks it on his head. Like, it's crazy. Look at his defense. Uh, he, he uh, what's it called? Um, he's trying to um, steal, but he, whoa, he was wide open. Look, Kennard, he does not miss, man. One of the best three-point shooters, consistent three-point shooters in the game. And does not miss three. Another three. Because he's left-handed, bro. If you're a left-handed three-point three point shooter, you're, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, not doing nothing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. He is breaking his ankles. Oh, this is the play he got with the glass. That was not a foul. He he hit the ball clean. But Anthony Edwards looking like LeBron and 2008. And 2018. Oh, Dama has some different athleticism. He doesn't look like he's athletic, bro. He does a freaking behind the back dunk. Like, bro, what? Crazy Towns. He can shoot three pointer. He hasn't really been doing anything. I remember when Crazy Towns trying to be Kobe. He's like, we gotta do better. Bro, who is that small dude on the court, number zero? Like, bro, who is that? I played with him on 2K once, and I said, is this a glitch? <laughs> like, there's no reason, there's no reason or no way I'm playing with this guy on 2K. I'm like, yo, what the heck? Bro, Mike Conley, bro, shooting that three-pointer. I mean, it's a close game, 89 to 88, bro, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. Mike Conley is such a tough player, bro. He's a tough, underrated point guard, bro. Doesn't get enough tension, but I like that. I mean, he stays humble. That dude has been with a couple of teams and um, be with the Pelicans and someone else too. Reed, Reed is a dude that can hit three pointers day and night, bro. This guy does not miss a three point range, just like Jerry Jackson. Hey, yo, what? If he would have missed that, that would have been bad. I don't know who this guy is, bro. He just came out of nowhere, just like the uh, young guy came out of nowhere. Look ahead, Tuesday, bet. The Lakers and the Clippers come on Tuesday on TNC. Nice. Those are the type of games I'll be watching for sure. This game I did not watch. This man here, Jane Jackson. Oh! Oof. That's the second time to that game. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Don't tell me the Lakers did that. Oh, my God. They traded Scottie Pippen. Junior to the Minnesota Timberwolves. 
Now he's on the G League? Oh my gosh. And I just saw LeBron and him and, and Scotty at a game for Bryce. Oh my gosh. The 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 NBA is petty. Like, bro, that's crazy. But it is what it is. Anthony Edwards like this spin and roll, likes big man. Oh come here. Oh come here. Step back through. That's tough. Oh my gosh. That is tough shot. You barely have any space and you shoot that at the corner three pointer. Not corner, but the wing. It's tough. 23 points, 1 for 5. He didn't have the best game, but he had a decent game. Jane Jackson. That could have been an one. Jane Jackson just plays hard, bro. He needs John Red, though. I mean, this is a great group, but they, they, they still have some players that, you know, don't know everything. Like, look at this, bro. Look like MJ right there, bro. That is that is MJ 2.0. I'm just playing. That's Anthony Edwards, bro. There ain't no freaking MJ. Oh, my. He said, I'm not passing the ball, Kobe. Bro, even the commentators are not engaged in this, bro. Okay, that's it for this video. But this is what I got to say about these, these games like this. If you have games with these underdog teams, I just if it's not going to be engaging, I mean, Anthony Edwards was played good and all, but put someone, I would put the Minnesota Timberwolves, but don't put the Memphis Grizzlies on TNT ever again without John Morant. I mean, it's not the same. I mean, it'll be the same if, if the John Morant was on team. I mean, that's, you know, Anthony Edwards versus John Morant. But, I mean, it's not the same without John Morant. So, I would say keep Memphis Grizzlies off the TNT ESPN thing. I just, unless, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know how they made the decisions, but it is what it is. But, uh, like I say, Anthony Edwards uh, and Timberwolves are going crazy right now. Uh, number one seed, I uh, believe, in the West, but number one overall. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies, they keep losing, losing games. No cap. They just need John Ramp. And uh, I don't know, bro. It's tough for them. Their season basically over. So they're I don't know. But uh, that's what you guys say about this video. Uh, like it. Subscribe to this channel. If you're new to this channel, I um, react to videos. I edit uh, little short videos. And, uh, yeah, yeah, just do a lot of sports things, you know. The grind never stops. So, uh, yeah, this is your boy, Caleb Paris, and SH Network, and I'm out of the building.